Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the second episode of What's the Go podcast. Today we've played. How are you? Good, thanks. That's good. So we're pretty much just going to be going over every like team's free agent and if it was the right call for them to be free agents or good call. All right, alrighty, guys. So the first player we've got here for the Crows, Andrew McPherson. He hasn't really had an opportunity since 2022, obviously being a back line and been around the forward line as well. He's been there for six years. And obviously, if you haven't played a game for the whole season, I think it's fair that you've been delisted. So now we're going to poll season. So this was a bit controversial. He's been in there for eight years, in and out midfielder, best kicking nearly the competition for uh, quite a few years. What's your thought on it, Caden? Um, probably a bit of an underrated player. Used to be like a star as a comp. Like you said, star kick. Nice kick. Probably as good as Bailey Fritch. So I would say. Yeah, and obviously he had a stint at Collingwood early in his career, making the most of the Crows. I think he could have at least gone for one year more. So, guys, the next player in this list is Shane McAdam. He's he's a full forward, Isaac Franklin sort of type. He's been that small forward for them for five years and he's only played about five games this year, obviously being suspended in round one and um, only playing, um, debuting against um, Mel- Melbourne at the MCG in round 20. So, yeah, I think he could have at least got two more years because he was showing good potential. Mm-hmm. Right, radio guys. So we've skipped a few now. We're on to Tom Dude. Obviously, been for the Crows for eight years. He's been leading that back line. I think they definitely should have like. <sighs> so sorry for that bit of hiccup. But Jade, what's your thoughts on the Tom Dude deal listing? Uh, it's not that bad of a deal because he's done his ACL. Probably won't be back in his prime. He's a great centre-half back, take gloves and intercept mark. Brisbane, up the Gabba. Don't know if he'll fit in their best 22 straight away. But, yeah, really, that's all I've got to say. Yeah, fair. So, so obviously, Daniel Rich is retiring at the end of the season. It would be silly to be delisting him. So, we're going to skip with that one. We're going to go on to Dane Zorko. He's been great. He was pretty good in the grand final, not at his prime, but I feel like he could have at least got a year, obviously, getting older. What are your thoughts? Yeah, he was great for years ago. He's a bit of a tough nut. Loves the fight. Yeah, he played great in the grand final. Probably one of Brisbane's best players. Yeah, but probably give him another couple of years, another one or two years on his contract because he's a great leader to the club. 